Hello everyone, welcome back. So from this video, we're going to be starting our lecture on finding the catchment area or delineating the catchment area or the watershed in the ArcGIS. So let's start the lecture and we have divided the lecture into some steps. So we're going to be following these steps. Although I have just summarized these steps, but there are going to be more and more uh, sub steps that we're going to be doing in them as well. So we're going to be starting with the coordinates of our location. We're going to have be having them. Then we are going to move towards the, creating a digital elevation model of our location then importing that into ArcGIS. After we import that, then we can start setting up the DEM because the DEM have come from a place it might need a little bit of setup. So we will set it up and then we will use the tools to find the catchment area. We will adjust the units, we will calculate the area and then we can export it wherever we want to. So these are going to be the steps. Let's start the steps. The first step is the coordinates. So coordinates are something that you should know for your catchment area. You should know for which year, for which location you are trying to find the uh, watershed or catchment area. So I know the location for myself is this latitude and longitude. Let's see these coordinates in Google Earth Pro so that things can be more realistic. We, we can put these coordinates in Google Earth Pro and see that what is the location for which I am trying to find the catchment area. So here we go. If you see, this is the dam inlet location point. You can see it's marked here in Google Earth Pro. You can download the software and you can also mark the location of your uh, concerned location as well. So if you see, if uh, you can place a placement mark here and you can easily move it around and you can see the coordinates are visible here. So my coordinates are for this point, which is 33, 58, 29, 71, 19, 13, somewhat like this, right? So this is our location. Now for, <clears throat> after you take this location and after you get the coordinates, you can just, you can uh, note them down with yourself and you can move to the next step which is creating the digital elevation model of the location. Now for the DEM of the location, you need to visit this uh, website maybe, which is the earthexplorer.usgs. It's free, so you'll just create a free account there, log in there, and enter your coordinates and export the digital elevation model. So let's do, let's do it together. So I clear these things because this was some work that I did earlier. Now I am already logged in here, right? So you can try to maybe, if I try to log out here and yeah, keep this thing simple. So now you can log in. If you click on the login, so you will have to make an account. I already have an account, so I don't need to create an account, but you can create the account. And I hope you can um, just manage the things here. You can add all the details and you can go with the data that they require there and you can somehow manage to make a free account here it's possible right i have also done that so you can do that so after you create an account it's important then you can sign in and after you sign in now you can after you sign in now we can go to the earth explorer.usgs so here we are signed in and now we can get our data in order to get the data, you see it's the search criteria. So I won't uh, just disturb the data here. I will just directly go to the coordinate area. So this is the coordinate, polygon circle predefined area. So I will go to the polygon and I will use the add coordinate option. And I'll add the latitude and longitude here. So for the latitude, I'll go to the PowerPoint and just get my location for the latitude. So it's 33, 58, 29.3. You don't, don't add any of this degree or minute symbol just write the number directly and make sure it's north and east it's correct right so 33 58 29.33 so let's add them here 33 58 29.33 north right and the next one is 71 19 13.53 71 19 13.53 right so now you see it's north and west but what about this one it's north and east so we have to correct this east and make sure the latitude and longitude are at the correct uh, slots right we don't mix them like if you write longitude for latitude and latitude for longitude it will be uh, it will not be a good one so now we can add the point 
and after you add the point you can zoom in a little bit and see if the location is correct and you can see it's correct right it's the same oops mistakenly added a point so it's the same location that we were watching in the Google Earth Pro you can see it here right so yeah that's good so after you add this point now let's move to the next step now, the next step is that of course we don't want to take this one point with ourselves it, it will not give us any advantage we need a whole area here because we're talking about area and area is a two-dimensional property so we need to take sort of an area with ourselves instead of a point so for that we'll have to add more points and those points are going to be something in which this location is going to be um, visible right it's going to be um, there now let me explain this step a little bit so that you can understand it better if you're confused now if you see this is these are the two sort of uh, streams or rivers you can see a mini river that are going to be joined here and this is the second one that's coming from this direction if you're able to see my mouse and these are the two so these the direction of the flow is like this from left to right from left to right so if I construct a dam here if I construct a dam here the reservoir is going to be built at this end at the left end right and the catchment area for this point is going to be these regions as well to the left instead of the right because the water is coming in this direction so it's going to be here so I don't need the area to the right of this point too much I need the area to the left to the top and maybe a little bit to the bottom this is what you can access for your location as well you can note a little bit of the things down because you don't want to take the whole earth to the ArcGIS because it's not of your concern you just need the area which is for your point it's which is concerned with your point right so you need to take that area so you can work a little bit you can think about it a little bit that what is the flow direction and what area are you expecting uh, that would be of your interest so you can take uh, somehow that much area so what I am expecting I am expecting somehow this much of area to be of my concerns I will take this much of area now let's do this so now to do this what you can do it's easy you can if you click here on the map it you will see a point would be added then I will click once more and once more so this is a point but this is very much less area I am expecting the catch area to be big so let's let's extend it now you can see I'm moving this point but it's okay I know my point will be still there and I'm making it enlarge so there might be some extra area also added but I I will fix it later oops okay I somehow okay, make sure you don't mix these things like that okay so what I'll try to do is I'll try to make a square instead of a complex thing so here we go, I think this much of area would be fine, right? That, that. Okay, it's good. Now after getting this much of area, now you can go to the next step, which is data sets. And in data sets, you can go to digital elevation. In the digital elevation, you can go to the SRTM. And in the SRTM, you can go to the SRTM one arc second global. Go to the results. And once you go to your results, so you will get your SRTMs. Now, this is the step that I really want you to note a few things here because it, it is uh, where you can have different sort of data that will be displayed here. Now, if you are lucky, so you might get this whole area in one SRTM displayed here and you can take it and you can work there. If your area is very small, then that would happen but if your area is very large just like my area you would get more than one of these SRTMs like this you can see 33 71 34 71 2 so for this you will have to do a little bit of working you will have to download them separately and then after downloading them separately you will have to merge them in ArcGIS so we'll do that later so I don't know what sort of data you are having but whatever if it's one so it's fine but if it's more than one you can follow these steps just like I'm doing here right so let's download both of them so I'll download this one 2371 and 2471 in order to download click on this download click on geotiff one arc 
second global, the last one, and download it and save it in your folder.